I'm building a tiny vacation home on wheels. Shut up and sit down. Okay, before I get into my rant about how much I despise the Texas summer, and this is my seventh Texas summer, by the way, I just wanna let you know that I'm truly grateful that I've been able to build my van in the month of January in Texas when it was 44 degrees. That said, I could not imagine trying to build the whole thing now. And if you are somewhere in the world where it is the surface of the sun, I commend you for your effort and please, please hydrate, get in some air conditioning or just submerge yourself in an ice bath at some point during your build. So today I attempted to do some fixes that I've put off because it's been almost 100 degrees for the last week. And before that, it was almost five weeks of nonstop rain. The weather here in Houston and in most of Texas is very unpredictable and you just kind of have to work around it. And sometimes you can't work at all. And when you try to work, you end up in the situation I was in today. So I'm heading out for a bike ride. There's my trusty steed. I just have to put some uh, like uh, chain oil on it or something. Uh, this is my get up when I ride my bike. I have a balaclava and it's all to protect my skin. It has nothing to do with COVID, um, but I'm just very protective to make sure I'm completely covered as you can see even when it's 88 degrees outside um, and I've been riding this way for years so um, but yeah just basically want to keep myself safe and healthy um, but yeah when I get a paddleboard you'll, you'll laugh at what I look like when I paddleboard I got some like freaking like modest swimsuit burkini thing going on uh, it's quite funny but again it's for sun protection um, I think the uh, skin is the largest organ that people neglect. So I'm very protective and being 42 and, you know, not wanting to have like beef jerky skin when I'm 60. So yeah, I don't want any like wrinkles or like sun, skin cancer or anything like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go on my 23 mile bike ride and uh, just get some grease in there. And then I'm gonna work on the van today. I've got a few things that I want to do, uh, like uh, just kind of storage uh, solutions uh, that I found and then just some paint touch-ups and then figure out a solution for the uh, toilet door. I think I'm going to do shutters. I found some shutters that are the right size over at Home Depot so I'll go over there a little bit later and then crank up the AC <laughs> and work on the van. I was neglecting it because it's like 90 degrees outside or 100 degrees during the day now here in Houston as you can see it's like ridiculously hot so um, I just you know figured I'll just kind of just batten down the hatches and, and work on it. So that's my day today. It's a Sunday, nothing else really to do. So off on my bike ride. Okay, it's ridiculously hot. Um, so I have some repairs to do on my bike as well. Apparently I can't go from second gear to third gear, but I can use the other seven, no, nine gears on the other side. Um, so I'm just gonna ride probably about uh, 23 miles, uh, just my usual uh, city route through Houston. So it's, it's not too bad. It's too hot though. I need to start getting up at like 5 a.m. and riding at 6 a.m. Um, but on Sundays, my gym at my apartment is not open, so I can't run. So usually I just run on the treadmill and then during the week I go ice skating. So I think I'm gonna pick up ice skating next week. Um, and I can ice skate both in Houston and Austin. And there's a couple rinks in Houston, professional rinks, and then there's uh, the rink in Austin as well. Um, so I haven't been on my ice skates for a while. I am gonna get a pair of roller skates this week as well. I have a pair that I bought online that were kind of like like Vans or like Converse uh, type shoe. And they're actually kind of hard to skate on since I'm used to ice skating, so I need a boot. So there's a skate shop in Houston. It opens today at noon, I might check them out. Uh, the skates are finally in stock after COVID. So 
Um, I'm gonna go over and see if I can get a pair of Moxie skates um, with some professional wheels and then just work on, on my roller skating. So that's something I've also done since I was like two years old, see? See how fancy I was when I was, actually I think this picture I was like six years old. I don't know where this person is. You can go, you can go around me. Go around me. Thank you. I think they're just aiming for you when you ride a bike here. So anyway, all right, so bike ride and then just a random day of, of errands. So now that the weather is getting to be the surface of the sun outside in Houston, I did ride my bike this morning, but I am going to do a little bit of side projects. Um, I haven't actually done kind of a like a specific design style of the walls and all that. The walls are just basically painted plywood. Um, I haven't actually kind of, you know, made all the corners look pretty or kind of, you know, tidied it up a little bit. I just basically used uh, fake, you know, garlands of plants and stuff to kind of hold, uh, hold everything in place that isn't really secured and also to, um, you know, kind of hide the, the edges. So I haven't decided, I do need to wire the whole van when I do the full solar. So I kind of want to leave it exposed a little bit and just kind of cover it with those plants. But what I'm going to do is paint this Ikea spice rack that I got for like $2. It was on sale at the time. I'm going to paint it white. I'm going to paint this extra piece of board that I got that I never used for what I originally wanted to use it for. So I'm not quite sure what I'll use it for now. Maybe um, a step stool by using the legs that are supposed to go on the futon mattress, uh, the futon couch from Ikea. I still have the legs, so the legs might fit. Or just create a little step stool um, for outside, which I think would be nice. Uh, it's nice to kind of sit on the edge of my van and put my feet on something instead of having them hang down. And then this is just like a Melissa and Doug uh, food, pretend food set my daughter had that this little thing is going to be for my keys and then I can just kind of nail it to the wall. So I'm just gonna paint these white. I'm using the same uh, satin uh, paint and primer in one that they mixed at, um, at Home Depot. And I think the, the color white that I chose was frost and uh, with a satin finish. So I highly recommend definitely getting them to mix it as if you're using it in a bathroom, uh, especially as you're using uh, your van in you know different temperature zones and you're gonna end up with condensation and stuff like that, moisture and that horrible word moisture, <laughs> moist, hate that word. <laughs> Why is that even a word? Anyway, you're gonna get a lot of like condensation inside your van. So having paint that is primarily used for like a bathroom or kitchen um, is definitely um, better than just using one that you would paint like the side of a house with or, or something that you don't need to worry about it being waterproof. So I'm just gonna paint these today, let them dry and then work on some other things. And by the way, just a pro tip, if you save the top of your um, empty paint jar, I guess, or paint canister, or you just take a picture of this, they will be able to mix it exactly the same the next time you go in. So these are expensive. These are about $16 for a little one quart can. Um, so obviously I don't want to pay, uh, buy a whole bunch of paint, you know, right off the bat. So I've just gone through, I think this is the second uh, canister that I've gone through. Um, so when I go back again, I will just go ahead and just give them this information and they can mix it exactly as I want it. Okay, if you buy a thermometer in Texas, this is the temperature that's on it. First of all, you have the first temperature is all four seasons in six hours. The second temperature is hot and the third temperature is stupid hot. <laughs> so it is stupid hot right now. Oh my God, it's just horribly hot. I just, I almost took a nap after my bike ride. It knocked me out. Too hot, not fun. And now I'm heading to Home Depot, which is literally, I can just sling a dead cat ah! to Home Depot behind my house. So heading out, hopefully I can work in the van this afternoon in the stupid heat. <laughs> it's too hot for me. I need like snow or something. Oh. You know, I just saw, I'm bouncing around here, I just saw a van life who's trying to get into Alaska. I'm like, Alaska's a little bit far to drive when I only have like two week windows at a time. But man, I would love to just go to like Alaska. <laughs> right now, this is too hot for me. God, I'm such a wimp. Anyway, okay. The Home Depot, which I didn't know was called The Home Depot until recently. So I'm now going to The Home Depot 
go find stuff. And I'm probably going to end up going to shop for roller skates because <laughs> I'm probably going to get so fed up of dealing with construction stuff again when I thought I was done. But this is just, you know, touch-ups and stuff. I, it's, the fans are work in progress, so definitely keep working on it. There she is over there. Hi, Prudence. <laughs> Miss you already. <laughs> okay, I'm in my... I'm fortunate that I have an SUV, so I can just drive, and I still have a spare tire on it. So eventually I'll sort my SUV out, clean it out, scrub it down. You know, it's a little bit more like a construction car right now. It's not actually like clean brand new SUV it was a year ago <laughs> so it's been put through the ringer a little bit and there's a bunch of like injuries to it from you know road tripping and getting hit by rocks and somehow a rock ended up inside my front bumper in the bumper like I don't even know like how that's even a place in the world but there was a massive chunk of rock like space rock like NASA space rock wedged in my SUV bumper so Anyway, I'm right here, literally like two minutes away at Home Depot. So I'm gonna go here and then, yeah, just uh, try to be productive. I don't just wanna sit around all day because then I can like do stuff and film it and then spend the evening with the air conditioning blasting at home and edit the video. So trying to do like same day content here. Um, so when I did the video Friday, that happened Friday and then I edited it and uploaded it. So I'm getting better at getting things done faster. Like. I've always been a storyboard person, producer, script writer, um, like, you know, coming up with the concepts. I've never actually been a video editor, so, you know, if you think my videos are crap, it's because I'm just still learning how to do video editing. Even though I've done it on and off for like 20 years, I've never like actually put any thought into the actual process of editing. Um, so it's fun. It's just kind of just for me to kind of get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, in terms of like coming up with a story and all that stuff. I think I'm pretty okay with that. I think I'm not I'm not terrible. So anyway, so today's story is that it's freaking hot and I need to go to the Home Depot and probably not get helped for 20 minutes until they realize that I'm actually like building something. So when I started building my van that was the problem was they were like nobody helped me for like the first three days of the 15 day build and then finally I was like you know, by the fourth day, they're like, okay, you, what now? <laughs> I was like, yes, I'm now a contractor. So, uh, good thing they have a military discount. So at least I get 10% off my feeble attempt at building stuff. So here I am at the Home Depot. So yeah, okay, well, that's a nice roof rack. Oh, I'm getting van envy. Uh, and it's like, not even like a van life or roof rack. It's like a construction roof rack which is so like sturdy. I want, I want that roof rack. It's on a Dodge ProMaster though. It's wrong van, <laughs> wrong wrong continent where the, where the vehicle came from. So, okay, it's hot and I'm probably gonna need an ice cream soon. <laughs> it's been out for four minutes. Okay, so I painted this yesterday and I've pretty much abandoned this project. So this is the Ikea spice rack and then the other piece of wood I was gonna use for a step stool when you get into the van. And then I realized I painted it white, which doesn't quite work with uh, footprints. So, uh, and then I just gave up painting the other thing. So I'm abandoning this project. So what I did get were these brackets, as you can see. And this metal kind of table tray is actually an Ikea shelf that goes over the side of a like a patio fence. Um, so I kind of dismantled it as you can see and I was going to use just this top part um, and then put these metal brackets uh, under it and have this as kind of the extended countertop on my side cabinet. 
I really want to keep everything metal, which is why I've abandoned the other painting projects and the wood items. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go head over, um, kind of look around and see what else I can, I can do. I don't quite know what kind of screws to use because this metal is actually super thin. Uh, it looks thick, but it's actually kind of a, like a tray, I guess. I'll show you. I'll take these off. So this is what it looks like underneath. And so, as I said, I kind of dismantled it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I might just have to glue it with some metal glue and then maybe use a very, very small screw um, to go through the metal. So usually these brackets, which are just down here, these brackets are for um, wood shelves and for something that's a bit thicker than literally like two millimeters. So I don't know, I've got to rethink this. <laughs> I've had this for like two weeks now, this whole bracket project and I've done nothing with it. So yeah, let me sit on this and figure out how to make it where I could eventually sit on it. So I haven't been in this aisle since I bought all of these tools <laughs> when I started building. I actually own most of these. And uh, yeah, that was crazy. The amount of tools that I bought and that I will probably never use again. Okay, so I'm looking for the toolboxes and I'm looking for the metal uh, like shelves that like attach onto them like things you can like put your accessories in that go on the side of like a snap-on toolbox and I don't see them okay let me look around I think I'm gonna have to go to Harbor Freight Tools because they don't seem to have any like shelving units, they just have pegboard. So, uh, okay, let me look for shutters now. <laughs> That's the other thing I'm here for. So these are the um, like toolboxes, I guess, and you're supposed to have some sort of magnetic thing that goes on the side that was online and I can't find it. So I don't know. So, <laughs> I actually feel off my A game here. I don't actually know what I'm looking for and there's no one to help me. <laughs> so maybe I go to Harbor Freight Tools. Maybe they can help me. Or maybe a Northern Tool. That's another store. Yeah, I haven't had to think about any of this for a while. So, hmm. Okay, let me look around. It's always funny when you confuse people at Home Depot and they don't know exactly what you're building. I'm like, I just need shutter doors. So they only have 36 inch doors. They don't have uh, the 25 inch. So I'm gonna go over to Lowe's, which is also just down the road. I do need a ladder though. I've been contemplating getting a ladder attached to a roof rack versus a telescoping ladder, which are about over a hundred dollars. Um, and I have no reason to get up on my roof right now until I get a roof rack and the little, little you know, picnic deck and solar panels. Um, but yeah, these ladders are like way, way too big. Uh, there's also a step ladder, which, you know, I mean, if I get one that's on the outside of the van, then I risk people climbing up on there. It's kind of like when I took a 27 hour train from Varanasi to Calcutta back when I was 21 and people were just climbing on the side of the train and just chilling up there. So. Um, and then we climbed up there. I was backpacking with this British guy and these uh, Italian girls and we were like, let's do it. And so we climbed out the window from our cabin, which we had no window, it was just basically like a piece of metal. So we climbed out and climbed up on the roof for like a minute. So <laughs> it was terrifying. Uh, anyway, okay, so uh, this is a fail. I still have a list of stuff. And the other stuff, hinges, screws, glue and latch and, and all that, I can just get at Lowe's. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's. If Lowe's is a fail, I'm going to go to Harbor Freight Tools, which is also just down the road. And hopefully they'll have the at least the magnetic um, like containers. And the reason is because I have metal lockers, which are fantastic. And I just want storage solutions where I can just put stuff on, you know, the, uh, on the outside of the lockers without having to keep drilling into stuff. So, okay. So that's a fail. I'm leaving back into the hotter than the surface of the sun outside. So I don't want to say anything when I was in the store, but the guy that was trying to help me in the blind section, and he, I tried to explain what I was doing with the shutters. I was like, well, it's just going to go in front of my toilet, my porta potty, it's just going to be a door for the porta potty. And he goes, well, you know, these aren't really meant to be doors. And I'm like, 
Welcome to van life. <laughs> Nothing in our van belongs in our van. Every single thing in there is completely not supposed to be there. Um, my entire van is basically a hack. So, anyway. <laughs> it's just funny. The look on his face is like, wait, you're doing what with what? I'm like, okay, it's not up to code. It's probably not OSHA regulated. Yes, I know. And the fact that this van has stayed in like one piece for 15,000 miles of road trips through like 17 states over the last four months. Yay me! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's so hot! <laughs> I'm just dying. I don't want to, I want to go ice skating, but it's Sunday, so it's too busy. And I can't like, I'm the ice nanny, like the mama bear, and I can't like watch people ice skate and just like break their face open on the rental skates or the figure it out skates, as we say. So I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that. Oh, okay, down the road. This is actually my bike path down here. It's through like one of the fancy parts of town. So I ride, this is the 38 mile trail that I do. And lots of new home construction, which is always funny. I'm like, oh yeah, you got 10,000 square feet of wood. I got 10 feet of wood in my van. It's still a house. <laughs> so that's the thing. I only need one foot of something. I don't need a whole kitchen. I just need a cabinet and like a door. So, worst case scenario, I'll go back to Ikea today, which isn't going to be too bad. Um, they cook good ice cream, and I haven't had ice cream yet, so there's a McDonald's down here. It's the only reason I go to McDonald's is to get ice cream or use the toilet. <laughs> so, you can't use the toilet during COVID, so uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so I think if Lowe's doesn't have what I need, actually Lowe's has really kind of like come through in a lot of like disaster scenarios like they've had a lot of other products that Home Depot doesn't have um, so if Lowe's doesn't have it I will just go over to Ikea which is also like 10 minutes up the road and just go and see what they have in the as is section they don't have any shutters but they have some outdoor stuff so or I could just take a piece of wood that's about the same size and just put a hinge on it at this point but I want something that kind of has a vent in it which is why I wanted the shutters um, just because I just want to make sure that under the bed is aired out, especially as the toilet, the, the chemical toilet, the Camco toilet, does tend to have um, like moisture that forms under the lid. It's kind of gross. <laughs> it's all like my bodily fluids, but uh, the moisture forms when it's under the bed. And so I just want to make sure that it's as aired out as possible. So, okay. It's too hot. It's 98 degrees right now. Ugh, I need a mountain. And snow. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, so it's like 10,000 degrees outside. Okay, this is what they did. They cut this, uh, hang on a minute. Okay, they cut this rolling blind to 20 inches. And so there's a machine that you just saw called the trim and trim or something, trim and cut. Um, so you just basically, if it's like 36 inches, you get the, the measurement, you tell them what you want, and then they go ahead and just cut it. And so they did this and you can see right here, um, they added the little, brackets on the side and then you get these extra brackets right here and you just basically screw it in and now I have a rolling uh, not see-through blind that can go over the door of the uh, porta potty so I think that will work out well I think it's like 25 bucks but you know I don't have to go drive around town today and go look for a, a heavy door and now I have a blind that I think will work great and it matches my ceiling which is also canvas so let's see if this works super easy to install pull it down pull it back up um, that way when the toilet's not in there the piece of plywood won't just fall down anymore because it'll be gone 
Okay, this is what I was looking for. So these are magnetic. These are magnetic trays. And I'm looking for the magnetic shelf. That's a wrench holder. So I just want something to put along the back windows where I can just put my keys and things like that without having to drill. Um, my build is actually kind of a no build except for the max fan. So if I were to rip everything out and sell the van later, uh, there would actually be very minimal holes um, in the van. So yeah, okay, so maybe this one. There's some other stuff. I think I have to go to Harbor Freight Tools. I think I have to go to the other place. I'm dying. <laughs> it's too hot. And I'm not exaggerating. It really is like, it's not just hot. Like I'm fine in like 100 degree Palm Springs or like hot Thailand weather, but it's like sticky humid. And it just makes it like hard to breathe, hard to, you know, just think or have your liver function or any of that stuff. So this is what I wanted to explain to you in there. So this is uh, actually only cost me like $10 or maybe $12. And uh, what they did is they cut it down from 36 inches to 20 inches. And then this will fit across the top of where the toilet is under the bed and just pull down. Um, so I was thinking maybe if you could get like a waterproof one or a second like plastic or vinyl canvas um, blind that you could put one behind it or underneath it and then have like a waterproof waterproof <laughs> no, I can't speak you would have like a waterproof um, like kind of floor cover to put your toilet on at night so you don't have to like keep pulling it out from under the bed and then you don't get the, the floor dirty when you're just like spraying your manhood everywhere <laughs> you know? like in some you know gas station restroom um, anyway so this this should work fingers crossed I think it looks a little narrow but I think it's the right width it should be fine it's 20 inches so I hope it's not 20 inches including the side bits because it does look a little narrow but I'll make it work if not I'll just come back and pay $12 for another one so and add two inches to the side okay Harbor Freight Tools it's 10 minutes away and then I'm home to get this stuff done so if you go to Harbor Freight Tools this is exactly what I was looking for right here so they go on the side of these um, different toolboxes but basically I've got two shelves and then this one to put my um, like bike chain spray in it and then I also have like rubber glove stuff and all that so yeah for about $45 you now have a whole shelving unit I'm now in Chinatown and all the signs are in English and Chinese, um, which is about 15 minutes from my house. They've got some really good restaurants. It's a combination of a lot of different Asian countries. Um, so you can get Japanese food, Vietnamese food, um, predominantly Chinese though. Um, but you know, it's as with most of America, they just lump everybody in the same place. But it's, uh, you know, it's like there are actual differences. And I lived in Japan for four years, so. Uh, anyway, but good food over here. It got hit hard obviously with COVID uh, in regards to the lockdown. People just started boycotting this area. So I come over here and get ice cream and also some food if I'm hungry. It is now 107 degrees. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Why is it this hot and we're nowhere near a, a, a decent beach or, or a resort or anything? So anyway, my go-to place is behind this tree over here called Bay and I'm gonna get ice cream, eat, and then head back and finally get working. It's already three o'clock and I'm just kind of procrastinating at this point. in anymore so I'll go sit in my hot car and eat my ice cream which is already melting I got the um, charcoal and vanilla and then I got the uh, Thai iced tea with uh, pokey sticks and gold leaf and silver stars I'm finally home and I'm just cooling the van down I'm gonna work on some exterior things using this handy dandy rust-oleum and I'm just gonna basically go around and anything that looks like it's kind of a scuff mark 
like right here, my key kind of scratched a little bit uh, right there. So I'm just going to cover it with the Rust-Oleum, which is actually the same color as the van. And then on this side over here, there's like a little kind of a, a chip right here from maybe a rock. So I'm just going to paint over that so it doesn't rust. And then when the van's cool enough, I can go in and, and start working on the interior stuff. So I closed the door because it was so hot outside I could feel my feet burning. It's ridiculous. I did the outside bits and now I'm just going to cover up anything like this that has kind of some uh, like top coat removed, uh, general scuffs and things. Um, you'll find that you'll have to keep doing this over time uh, just to make sure that you don't end up with rust. And then I'm going to use the regular paint that I used on the side here to cover this um, uh, like sideboard, I guess. And then, uh, then I'm going to work on replacing down here. If you can see, this is kind of the current situation right here. So I'm going to replace the doily thing uh, and replace the, um, what is it, like the piece of plywood uh, with the roll down blind and hopefully that should work. So I think it'll fit. I think it's the right size. So we'll, we'll do that in a couple minutes. Um, I would actually, I should have got it, would actually like to stain this so that it matches the other countertop. Um, but I'll do that another day. I actually might, you know, kind of just rip this out. Uh, I don't actually use the sink right now. It's uh, it's all plumbed and hooked up, I guess. Plumbing's all done, but I don't really do anything with it. So anyway, that's the plan for right now. And then I think that's it for today once I do that. I don't think I want to work on anything else. Okay, that's fine. This is actually going to eventually become a window. Uh, I do plan on cutting this out and putting a proper side window or an upper window, but I think I would rather have the side window just because it is a little dark in here. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of went through and it'll disappear once it dries. Um, not really bothered about the aesthetics. I've got one up here too. Um, just more concerned about keeping it uh, rust free uh, during the very lovely Texas summer. <laughs> I'm not doing well today with this heat. I, I need to just get this done and go inside. So now I'm going to just paint and you can see I've kind of left the edges exposed because I haven't done the full electrical wiring. So I wanted to make sure that I would still be able to do all the wiring that I wanted to do. And obviously when I built this out back in January, I wasn't entirely sure what, like where everything would go. Originally the sink was going to go here, which is why I left this exposed for the uh, water pump. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to paint this, make it look a little nicer, and then work on the um, toilet door. Okay, that's fine for now. I just want one coat, and then I think I'll go back over with the paint roller. I actually don't have a clean paint roller right now. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is, like, on these um, panels here, eventually I'll have a friend of mine do some kind of mural. Um, on this side, I have my travel map and my national park stickers, and eventually this whole thing will be filled with all the... Uh, national parks I've been to. I have like a, a deck of sticker cards that every time I go to one I can just put one up. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is put these um, shelves that I got on the back windows right here. These are the shelves and you can see it has the heavy duty um, magnets on it and so I'm just going to put one each under the curtain rods above the window for now. I don't know where else I might put them but that should work for, for the time being until I can figure out exactly why I'm going to use them. Okay, these are the magnetized uh, shelves and they have like these extra holes and things where you can just hook stuff in. Uh, they seem pretty sturdy. Uh, I think the true test will be just driving and see if they fall off while I hit a pothole. Um, but I think these are fine. They work for now. Just put them somewhere. Of course, because I have lockers, I'm able to basically just, you know, magnetize everything and stick everything to the lockers. So that also maximizes my um, storage space, but I think for now this works. This is the other like magnetized tray that I got and it's for like canisters. This canister obviously is too thin, but the idea is that it'll just house some of my um, bicycle stuff, I guess. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to stick that somewhere. So it's ridiculously hot. <laughs> I'm like sweating so bad. Okay, so this should be easy. This is the uh, the new thing. Uh, this is the doily that I removed. 
Uh, this is the piece of plywood that I am getting rid of, no longer going to need. And then this is the 22, oh, it fits. So yes, yeah, so that's how it's gonna go. And then I'll just, you know, fold down. So what I'm gonna do is undo this. Uh, read instructions, nope. <laughs> so it was so nice that they could cut it. I thought that was fantastic. Absolutely bloody fantastic, as we say in the UK, where I'm kind of from. <laughs> so, okay, let me undo this and then I'll measure and then I'll uh, use my handy dandy power tool here uh, to put them in. So that looks so much better. I also got this, which I thought would fit, but it doesn't, but it's good for just kind of like an extra countertop. Although I would like to get a chopping board that would fit over the, um, I guess it's like 11 by 13 inches. Uh, anyway, so that looks so good. That's it. <laughs> that was a production, trying to just get a better solution for the uh, bathroom door. Um, eventually, maybe eventually I would like to put a shower right here and then just have the water uh, accessible from the outside. I think that would be some time in the future. I could also move the bed back another foot, um, but for now, this is good. I'm tired, it's too hot to be thinking. So I think I'm just gonna go relax and catch up on the uh, Sunday YouTube videos that all of the van lifers put out. So they all put them out at the same time. So my Sunday is pretty much taken up with trying to catch up on their adventures. So not me, I just put them out when I'm done. So, <laughs> cause I, don't, I mean, I have a small audience, like the smallest you could possibly get, but I, I appreciate all of you. And I thank all of you for watching my little channel. So we will have to start somewhere pretty much anyway. So yeah, can't wait for my next adventure. Not sure when it will be. Got a few uh, housekeeping things and adult things to take care of. Grown up stuff, you know, responsibility. But anyway, so yeah, so that's it. We're done.